Ooh, a large paleo node right up on that hill right there. Hey now, this is not a cheat. I swear, this is the Paleo Interactive Map. Hey, Radshad here, supposedly. Oh. And today, I'm going to show you how to download the Paleo Interactive Map and also briefly how to use it. Well, so first off, what is the Paleo Interactive Map? Like, what exactly, you know? Well, first off, it's not a cheat. If you're not very familiar with MMOs, there are a lot of MMOs that have something called third-party apps. And what that means is that someone has made a great application that can benefit your play in whatever game you're playing. So in this case, it'll be Paleo. What the interactive map does is it can show you where nodes spawn. Now this can be ore or animals, or it can also be the forgeables like garlic and for fishing, but we'll talk about it. Now the true shining star of the interactive map is when you can enable live mode. And what live mode does is not only does it show you where the nodes spawn, but it only shows you the currently spawned in nodes. Just like I was able to find this large paleo node up on this hill. Oh, and did I mention it works on animals too? I cannot stress enough how important the interactive map is for keeping track of those pesky animals that like to disappear on you. You know which ones I'm talking about. This proud horn hunt took me all the way across the map. Um, but because I had the interactive map, I was actually able to follow her, keep track of her, and finish this hunt. This just goes to show how valuable of a tool that the interactive map is between hunting, foraging, mining ore, and even lumberjacking. All right, we're gonna do a quick overview to summarize the what about the Paleo interactive map. Quick overview, allows you to see where nodes spawn, can show you spawned in nodes used for anything, and it's safe to use. All right, finally to the good stuff, how to download. First, click the link in the description. This will take you to the download for Paleo map, uh, which is hosted through Overwolf. Next, you're going to go ahead and click the download button. Next, it's going to ask you to choose a file location. I would go ahead and just choose download since this is not going to affect the um, Paleo map itself. It's only going to affect the install file for it. So throw it in downloads. All right, the final step is you do have to select it from your downloads in order to start the install process. Um, I can't show it here because I already have it installed. With that being said, if you don't have Overwolf already, it's going to ask you to install Overwolf first. And it's really that simple. Um, if you do run into any hiccups or any problems, feel free to comment and I'll try my best to troubleshoot. Last but not least, Let's go ahead and go over some of the features of the interactive Paleo map. So when you open up the map, um, it's going to look something like this. On the left hand side, you'll find all these searchable nodes. Clicking on the node category will bring up all the nodes in that category. Now, obviously, this is going to be very overwhelming with the amount of spawns that there are for bugs, but this will be useful for live mode. If you don't have live mode turned on, I recommend just having one or two nodes highlighted so you know where they spawn. Now I want to show you another feature that is very useful if you only have one screen. When second screen mode is turned off, the map actually provides an overlay. So all the information you need is on one screen. Finally, let's talk about the bread and butter of the Paleo interactive map. Live mode shows you spawned in nodes in real time. Meaning that when I select the insects, it will show me all the insects that are actually there. It works very similarly with all the other nodes. Where you select the category, and then you can see if they're spawned in. If live mode is not working for you, it might be because you have opened the interactive map before the game. For Overwolf, any application, you have to have the game open first and then have the uh, interactive map open. If you already have Paleo open, all you have to do is quit the interactive map and open it back up again, and it should work for you. Live mode is perfect for hunting because it actually shows you where the animals are moving 
in real time as well. Using the interactive map to fish works a bit differently than the other skills. You will still select the fishing category or what fish you're looking for on the left hand side, but you do have to throw your hook out first before you can see what fish you're about to catch. Knowing what you're going to catch before you reel it in is such a time saver and a resource saver since you don't use the bait if you don't catch the fish. Fishing with friends can be pretty tricky because not only can you see the fish you're about to catch, but you can also see the fish your friends are about to catch. To negate this, I recommend fishing facing a different direction than your friends because your fish will always spawn directly in front of you. Well, I suppose that just about covers the Paleo Interactive map. Remember, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to leave a comment and I'll try my best to reply quickly. Okay, bye.